Interestingly, um, Nickel is somehow not dirty. How is inside Nickel? You're in his overall. Your your limbs and face still got dirty. I didn't say his overalls weren't dirty. I said his skin isn't dirty. Hey, Hunter, out of curiosity for future reference, I can become a gaseous face. Can I go inside people without problems? No. no. I, I I can't just sort of. No, when you said inside him, I assumed inside his overall pocket. You cannot in you cannot go inside. Ga- you still have volume. You cannot displace someone's internal organs without problem. Well, yeah, but I'm smoky volume, so like. I, Doesn't matter. That's worse. That's if worse. If you go into someone's lungs, eventually they will because th- you've replaced all of the oxygen. I was thinking the other. Um, uh, that's worse. <laughs> No, you can't. You cannot arbitrarily shove sixty kilograms of gaseous material into somebody without causing problems. Fantastic. Well, I do not think we're going to make up quite all of our late time today because we're starting late enough that it's not long. <laughs> However, we'll see what Your we can face do. Fucking exploded. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, he sneezed, but also tried to cough at the same time. Oh, that shit's <laughs> fucked up. I've done that. Exploded. <laughs> I, I did a whoopsie. That was the fucking funniest shit. I'm sorry. He's gonna, he's gonna, you, sh- you shouldn't be laughing. This man needs to check his drawers. That's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I might have exited from every hole. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a negative air pressure problem. <laughs> 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 it goes somewhere. <laughs> Uh, let's see. All Is right. everybody on so, um, 20? Yeah, everyone's on 20. Um, all right. Well, session 57 <laughs> is what we're up to today. Can you believe it? Construction Santa is here. 50 session. Uh, 50 session. Yeah, 57. 57 session. It's the last one of 2023. Woo! This game started in 2022. I uh, thought this was going to be a two month campaign. Nope. No, we haven't even gotten out of the bottom left area. Haven't, haven't even beat the third gym. <laughs> you motherfuckers have two gym badges. <laughs> I know, I don't know. And you're the group that's like ahead. a wild year endeavor. <laughs> I, I got to feel like city construction. Oh, we can do it in about two months. Huh? Fucking 12 years later. 12 years later, I was gonna say, two months. My plan is now 12 months. I mean, 12 years. Oh, uh, yeah, for fucking 12 months and fucking $20,000 in gaming equipment over budget. Here we are. <laughs> hey, it looks like they're. Uh, I, I know, I keep traumatizing them so the simple solutions cost me 45 minutes of game time. <laughs> cool. You have no idea. You have no idea how many times I've tried to kill Kennedy. So many oh times. my god, so many! I know. At least six. At least <laughs> six is the low end. Six I, is the low end. <laughs> and I've tried to let it just kind of happen to see what how it goes. And... You bitch! <laughs> <laughs> and I have to like, I usually step in. But... Jerry rolled death, his first death save two weeks ago. He almost died and had a heart attack and I've <laughs> just it put him through an entire fucking self reflection thing. It's when when I when I tell you he was the quietest I've ever seen him for this game. <laughs> He's shaking in his boot a bit. I, uh, That's what happens when you roll a nat one when you stick your head under water with giant yak. <laughs> I have succeeded in successfully traumatizing. 
ever. Correct. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, that's fantastic. She, she just. Are you she, giving him ideas? She just that- anal- she, no, she just gave she just gave me an analogy for how I am as as a, as a GM. She she said that I'm like Silent Hill because like I start off gentle, but as I start to learn what will traumatize you the hardest, like there it is. <laughs> the, oh, how did they recover from that? Oh, let's hit them right where they're recovering. Hit the weak spot. <laughs> so fucking real. <laughs> I love it. All right. Just remember, uh, I'm down, so you can't use them. I've been dicking oh, around man. for a while now. Um, our initiative today is three dice. So when you guys get on roll twenty, give me three. Sweet. In a, in a, you know, in, in, in celebration of one, two, three. Oh. <laughs> one sixty nine. I got a twelve. One sixty nine. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh. 222. Two, two. That works too. You got 222. Two, two. That's pretty good. 222. Two, two. <laughs> Is that a little 222 two, two, two counts for <laughs> fuck all, unfortunately. I'm going last today? <laughs> that never happens. In yeah, no, what, no, because what's going to happen is Jerry's going to abstain from his turn and immediately dump it down to you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? <laughs> oh, boy. Here we are. Uh, when we left off, let me see my notes. Actually, you know what? This is a great time for inspiration. Who can tell me where we left off? I forgot you got a um, back. We're, we were in the cave. We were in the Iron Islands caves, and we had just got done talking with Obama Claus when this big hulk of a man appears carrying two men that are like 200 pounds each. So he's carrying 400 pounds. On each arm. <laughs> well, 200 pounds in each arm. That's impressive. So far, total, yeah. Yeah. Big, uh, big, scary, big, scary motherfucker shows up. What are you guys going to do? Run. This is what we're going to do. I was going to run the fuck out of here, but I think we officialized it that he wasn't a bad guy. Well, we did not officialize. You guys, to your characters' perspectives, you have no idea. Oh. Oh! As far as you know, he is here to wreck shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh my god. So, um, Tazzle, you're actually first in the turn order, so you get to be our first to react to this individual showing up. I'm going to set the scene, since it's been a couple of weeks, by reminding you that um, he has walked into the scene, into the light, by announcing himself asking the three of you what the hell you're doing here while carrying two unconscious, well-bruised Void Team grunts. The three of you are currently dressed in your own Void Team coats. Take it from there, Mr. Tazzle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not with them. Nope. <laughs> Fuck those guys. <laughs> <things. laughs> <laughs> thanks for, thanks for does catching it, him. Doesn't doesn't even know if this is like a higher up in Team Void. He's just like we're not with them. <laughs> we're not with them. <laughs> I can't even see in this cave. What's happening? Just look. Can you? Pr- oh, you can't see at all. Is your token fucked? No, I see. can't. I'm just saying. Um. Oh, you can't see it as far as you wish you could. Yeah, uh, Tazo, can you um, can you roll me a persuasion check? <laughs> oh God, probably not. <laughs> I'll try. Right. If it makes, if it's any consolation, charisma is not his good stat. If you get, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is I think it's the lowest thing of the constitution. Uh, I don't think I'm persuasion. Yeah, this is gonna suck the big ball. Suck the big balls. Let's see. Ooh. 18 is right. not bad. Dirty, filthy, nasty 20. Oh, that was okay. Good job. Um, okay. So, <laughs> while Kendra is the closest to him, Tazzle from the back of the room, who can just barely see the fucking silhouette of this man, um, 
to your perspective, of course, all you see is some brolic motherfucker in the darkness because you're a little bit far away. Um, Nickel, uh, you don't know him as this, let's say this. The, the large man seems to acknowledge your response. Like, he kind of gets a gauge of, of, of you from the way you're talking to him. He drops the two individuals at either side of him like a, like just a sack of potatoes. They just thud to the fucking rock ground. And you can Got hear that these... Angry. You can hear that these were full-size adults. They just make these loud thunk sounds on the ground. And he just begins... He just crosses his arms. He goes, all right. Jerry, do you have anything to add? Jerry, it's worth noting Jerry is Jerry is small, right? So so Jerry, you're you're now dealing with an individual who can palm you like a basketball and probably pop you like one. What is your what is your reaction to this? I wish I wasn't depressed at the moment. I really want to jump in your hand and look at up at him like a cuddly chihuahua, but I'm just gonna use my shadow ability to sort of What are you going to do? I, you're very uh, muted. What? He's, he's going to dissipate into a nearby show. Oh, okay. He's going to run the fuck away. Uh, it is worth noting, because you haven't had this creature very long, your Marowak will follow you. I'm going to sheathe the Marowak. Sheathe? Oh. It's not sheathe a sword. Him. Sheathe him. If you sheathe him, he will probably shove that flaming bone up your cloaca. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, all right, you're just gonna disappear out of this situation. So he nopes the fuck out. So Kendra, it looks like what it looks like Tazel's uh, awkward introduction has successfully disarmed him slightly. Um, do you have anything you wish to add to this? I'm taking your silence as a no. <laughs> Are you asking Tazel? Are you asking me no, or I, someone else? Uh, Oh, I asked Ken I said Kendra now oh, okay. now that Tazel has, now that Tazel has sorry, oh Tazel, that's my bad. Now that I sorry, I, I may have misspoken there. Tazel has successfully like disarmed him a little bit through his introduction. Um the, the, the individual in front of you seems to be sort of gauging the three of you. Uh he's not actively looking to hurt you, but he's still not like non-threatening. Um Jerry has disappeared from the scene to so should disengage entirely. Um so what is Kendra's choice here? Um, Marshall, it's worth noting, does not necessarily react to this individual like he's a threat. <laughs> he just sits down like the derpy self he is, and he's just like, Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Firebolt um, is immediately in front of Kendra, growling and being defensive. Hoko is in Kendra's arms, but it, I, I can't do that because she felt behind her. Um, and she's also growling um and kendra is gonna be like so who are you okay so who are you exactly who who are you <laughs> so the the man kind of lifts one eyebrow at you and just kind of like looks down at the two bodies next to him kind of like lifts his like bloodied knuckle up in front of him and goes does it really matter uh you are you? carried two full grown ass men out uh Hi. we have explained who we are but well my friend here he said that we are not with them so uh depending on if you are an ally or not that would be very useful know who you are. <laughs> well, I can't say if I'm an ally yet because you haven't explained who you are. All you told me, supposedly, is that you aren't one of them. We aren't. Thank you, Tazzle, <laughs> for revealing that so quickly to a stranger. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> Tazzle, Tazzle's just timid in the background. Like, oh, God. He's like, <laughs> so many aggressive Lord. people in the area. There's so much anger here. Um, Hunter, can I roll a perception to see if I can recognize, like, put two and two together? He looks like Rudy. <laughs> um, <laughs> but like more built. <laughs> that's gonna be. 
Okay. Try it. And that's, that's not quite the right roll for this, but it's it's close enough. Um, okay, in the circumstances that you have, the connection is difficult to make. He is familiar to you. He looks a little... It's almost like you, his, some of his features are kind of familiar, but it's very difficult to discern um, if you fully recognize him. Partially because the beard obstructs a significant amount of his face and also because of the lighting in the cave. But he's he's familiar enough that you're curious if you know who he is. Have, have we met? No. Are you sure? You look vaguely familiar. <laughs> I know a lot of people. Fair enough. But, um... Anyway, I don't know how to go about this. Um, if you're not going to explain who you are, then even even just a slight bit. <laughs> well, I have about fifteen seconds to decide if I'm going to use this rock to cave your head in. Oh, that's very cheery of you. Um, well, okay. Look, you have to understand where we're coming from. We are not from them. Are not a part of Team Void. Okay. But if we explain to you who we are, and you are also a bad dude, then how the fuck are we supposed to take on you when you resemble the fucking Iron Giant? I don't know. <laughs> he takes he takes this moment. You get you get both of his eyebrows raised, and he's just kind of like, "What the fuck did you just say?" <laughs> he kind of like looks down at himself, like, "I." <laughs> That she, that she broke fourth wall with Iron Giant. Where... <laughs> you, know, she, you know, here's here's the terrifying thing, though. She actually didn't, because there is such a thing as the Iron Giant. You just haven't met him yet. <laughs> oh, that's so not okay. Was that one of those freak weirdo Pokemon? <laughs> Asmodeus on steroids. <laughs> Asmodeus. <laughs> um, it's just a golem on steroids. So, he, go, he kind of looks over at Tazzle, who originally introduced himself in the first place. So Tazzle, he's looking directly at you when he, when he does this. So he kind of like, after he's like finished like hearing Kendra, he looks over at you. He bends over and he picks up one of the grunts who is still, you can hear them groan. They're like, they're not dead. They're just very badly beaten. He picks one of them up by the back of the collar and just hoists them up with one arm, just points like, that's how you know what side I'm on. <laughs> just fucking drops him with a thud. You can hear as this grunt hits the ground. It's like, ah! Oh. <laughs> Me, actually. Fair enough. <laughs> We're a part of a small thing of the resistance. We are doing undercover work at the moment. Uh, invest, and we heard there's a mining legal mining operation going on and uh, I was here to get information that they are leaking um, toxic wastes into the water. Get some evidence for that so that we can get this place shut down. Thanks to the lab in uh, Canalive. He um he kind of like you, you can kind of see this happen as he kind of like tells his head thinking for a minute. And he does this thing where he like pushes his tongue against like his lips, like, ha uh ha. -huh. What's your name? Hold on. <laughs> uh. Kendra is gonna kind of shuffle her feet and be standoffish. Be like, uh, she's gonna look a little reluctant to try and relay that information. <laughs> hey, you there, boy. What's your name? Talking to me or the midget? <laughs> the midget's in the shadows. Yeah, the midget. Is, <laughs> Did he see the midget in the I shadows? I didn't know he left. He <laughs> the midget, the midget in the shadows. <laughs> if you know where to look for him, he's just a set of like little eyes, kind of <laughs> blended into the shadow in the back of the cave. Even his glowy. Can we teeth, make his... it that 
Can we make it so that way if you look hard enough, you just see a silhouette of like a midget with a top hat? Like, he smiles the Honestly, that would probably be a realistic interpretation of his invisibility. But, yeah, I guess if you know where to... If you know where to look, you'd be able to discern kind of where he is. But you have to know where to look. If his mouth is open, wouldn't his glowy teeth show? He'd be like a oh, Cheshire no, cat, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> he can do the Cheshire cat thing, that's fantastic. Um, <laughs> there you go. I would sing the Cheshire cat song, Merry but I forgot Christmas what except his, except his teeth are not going to be like... You know, perfect like the Cheshire cats. They're gonna be all fucking yellow and rotten. So it's gonna be it's like gonna crackhead blue, Cheshire blue, cat. Blue red glow on the side. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I got those special molars. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I was talking about the glow. Glow. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. you. God damn it! If, if so you ever find <laughs> kids again in this game, it's just gonna be like, don't pee on the gods. Don't piss on the gods. <laughs> He just runs up to the old man, like the Hulk over here, and he's just like, Don't pee on the statue, don't do it. Those will be his first words as he heals. Piss on God. Yeah, yeah I'll tell him that. My name's Tazzle. Tazzle? Hey. So the man will step forward again. As he kind of steps over Marshall as he's now standing mere feet away from you, Kendra, but he reaches out this this just bare paw towards you in his in an offered handshake. Oh man. Oh uh, strength check! <laughs> your bone your bones are gonna get crushed. <laughs> uh alright. <laughs> Do you accept? Okay. Tazzle, <laughs> how, roughly how much do you think Tazzle weighs? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, it's about between 140 and 150. So in bird form, we said it's half, right? Yeah. Uh, so you're you're about 70 to 80 pounds on a good day, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so as you <laughs> grab his hand... You, you feel your arm like get very like stiff and twist as he lifts you off of the ground by your extended arm and him shaking your hand is him like dumbbell curling you. Oh and as he said, as he sets you down with like the gentlest like giant of a thud, he, he kind of just looks at you and he kind of pats your hand with his other hand and he goes, Nickel. Oh, nice to meet you. Wait, you're Nickel? Hi. Like the Uh, you're friends with Rudy. Oh, In a matter I of why he was That's why you look fucking. Rudy says hello, by the way. <laughs> you know. Ah, uh, yes, we're great friends with Rudy. Yeah, I'm still trying to win my badge for him. Yeah. Well. Oh. We we built the resistance and have been sending messages between him and Fern, the other gen leader, back and proceededly, just letting him know what we're doing. Uh, apparently, we're making kind of good strides. <laughs> What's under your name, Kendra. Kendra. Kendra Tazel. There's a third member, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Kendra will whistle and be like, "Hi, Gary." <laughs> Jerry's just gonna... Come on! Or I'll send Firebolt after you. <laughs> then you'll have no shadows to hide in. <laughs> oh yeah, how, how does that work? Would that happen? <laughs> if you run out of shadows, then you lose your shadow hide. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> so pop out if you will. Is Jerry gonna pop out, or do I have to send Firebolt? Because <laughs> <laughs> he will... Greatly <laughs> chase you <laughs> until he runs out of pee pee. What? All right, yeah, Jerry will pop out. <laughs> There's no pee pee left for this maneuver. I... <laughs> him, him and his two inches ran out. <laughs> Listen, six, and you all ripped it off. He he used to have a perfectly average dick, and then the puppet master took it all. 
<laughs> no, not the puppet master. We all, it, it was, no, we yeah, all look, had a point. We Jerry, all had a point play in your diminished of dick. <laughs> Jerry, you cannot be terribly upset by the loss of your manhood because you walked up to an eldritch horror and said you were going to molest it. <laughs> <laughs> you you walked up to a demon or just like, I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> no, 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 not fuck you up. No, not even fuck you up. He said, I'm going to fuck you. <laughs> like, just <laughs> in sentence. <laughs> Oh, right. Oh, right. Didn't you walk up and say, like, what? Didn't you exactly say, what does that zip? Let's see what that zipper mouth do. No, I didn't. Just... That... <laughs> Is that the quote that that was? I remember. I can't that remember that. exactly what he said, but he made some sexually provocative comment toward the puppet master demon. I I, I think I said something like, what, what was it? Oh, was no, the... you said you were going to fuck him and he said with what? And then it was gone. Yeah. <laughs> what? I, I, I think I said something like. It was. I cut way. out. That cut out so hard. But, but the, worst part was, the worst part was he didn't even just cut it off. He coralined your dick. He sewed a button where it used to be. <laughs> oh no! I, I asked what that zipper does. Oh, what that exactly. Zipper? If that's oh, it's exactly that? what I said. What? Let's see what that zipper mouth do. I didn't say Jesus. mouth. I just said zipper. I didn't. I didn't specify which. What that zipper mouth? Was no. Oh no! He had several zippers. That's just wrong. <laughs> Hunter for Jerry. If there's a hole, <laughs> <laughs> there, if there's a hole, there's a one. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> All right. Well, there's as Jerry no emerges. Oh, there's a hole, That's there's a way. That's the next game name, dude. As if there's, there's a hole, there's a way. No, if there's a hole, there's a goal. Prime if there's a hole, there's a goal. No, because it's supposed to be if there's a will. <laughs> there's a hole, if there's, there's a hole, a there's a way. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. There's a well, hole, there's a goal. Being more... In the, in the, okay, Jesus Christ. Being more on the way of where we're going here, with Jerry joining the group. There's a way, it's okay. But oh, now. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! There goes the next couple hours. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the, 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 I, I, I hate this car. I hate this power dynamic because he's he was literally an arch demon, so it's like you, you want you want to play this power card on him, but it's like it's like it's just as quick for him to be for him to look at you and go, all right, either we're fucking or I'm fucking. <laughs> like, you're in the wrong side of that power dynamic, you little bitchin. There's no Jerry's by, he can just bend over and say, yeah. Oh my god, no! It's all smoke, I can't feel this. <laughs> it's Jerry's like fucking a dry ice machine, I don't get anything from... Anyway, alright. Oh Nichols... <laughs> Nichols... <laughs> Nichols... Jerry's just gonna look back and be like, pull my beard! Oh my god, pull my beard! <laughs> I hate you! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy Mama was experiencing this. This is this is a great introduction. It's fantastic. Um God damn it. I've, lo I've totally lost my train of thought. I had massively important story here in this introduction <laughs> being interrupted by demon fucking. Um We're going Right. So, seeing the third member of your party join the um, conversation, um, Nickel just once again just kind of like cocks his head to the side and, and to the other side, just kind of looking at the three of you, goes, I, I recognize you. We're friends, then. And then a puff of smoke blinds the three of you. And when you are able to once again discern the figure that is Nickel, he has changed forms. Oh, what? I thought he just used an escape room. <laughs> this is just a wholesome Tom Segura. And in his true, in his true <laughs> form, he uh, he kind of steps up and he, and he now offers you a much more jovial handshake than he offered to Castle. I'm thoroughly disappointed. Okay. <laughs> he he he's like, hey, it's a pleasure to meet you. 
What the fuck happened to you? <laughs> what do you mean? Dude! I'm perfectly healthy. Jerry's gonna climb up and just sort of insert himself like one of those, like... You know those baby characters that dad's Oh my god! Yes. He's just gonna do that with the overalls. It's gonna go into the overall pocket. Oh my god. <laughs> he goes, oh! Hey, can you... Oh, can you give my back a break, son? Oh. What? Jerry looks older than this dude, that's the worst part. <laughs> my guy, you just went from being a hulkish man to this? Yeah, How'd you do that? <laughs> Don't judge a book by its cover. Can you, Rupert, can you switch forms too? In a manner of speaking. I can do that too. Well, yeah, we, I guess we all can actually do that. Yeah, yeah, never mind. <laughs> I, you're treating it a bit weirder than it seemed to be for you. I, 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 I apologize. I just was not expecting that. <laughs> you, you got shorter. <laughs> Hi. Hi, it's perfectly average. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> he says as he's this, uh, he is a perfectly average Roughly, you would you would probably say like five nine. He went from like six four to like. Five, nine. No, not six four. He went from like six eight. Six eight to five <laughs> nine. <laughs> he went from essentially a Spartan to Jerry, or not Jerry. He, he, he went, he, no, he, he he went he went from you know knock off the Hulk to a uh, friendly old carpenter. Um, that's 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 the interpretation you're supposed to have. Um, oh Lord! He's, Lord. A, he's a fantastic he's a fantastic individual. Uh, so this this unassuming jolly old man in front of you, who looks like he weighs a hundred pounds, soaking wet, is now offering Kendra a similar handshake. Uh, I will accept his handshake. Kendra, can you make me a strength check? Oh, I can. Stop it. Me? Yes. <laughs> tap, 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 tap. He's that was his face. <laughs> um. All right, Kendra. As you offer a handshake, you give just like a reasonable squeeze, like you know, a respectful handshake. Goes, oh, you got a grip on you, don't you? Yeah. Oh. Would I have hurt this man if I if I did like super strong? <laughs> Is that a game you want to play? <laughs> She's like, what if she like, used the what if she it's used just the a ring? general question? Like, if in this form, like I accidentally squeezed his hand too hard, would I have hurt his hand? Like, what? <laughs> I mean, you get the impression that he's roughly he's, he he has the build of like a hobby carpenter in his rough like eighties. So do what you will with that. Lord, <laughs> he's not actually quite that old, but he, he has the appearance. All right. Um. So, Nickel, what what are you doing here? Well, I come here quite often. It's part of the sure. responsibilities of being the leader of Calave. Um, it's not my only job, you know. I also am partially responsible for the conservation and uh, the ethical mining operations on the Iron Islands. Gotcha. Mm. None of that is going terribly well with the black coats kicking around. Yeah, oh, yeah. No. no one likes the black coats. I. Uh, so, uh, would you be interested in, in uh, helping us with uh, finding them? Because we, we got a couple a couple things we gotta do. So I have I have the thing that I explained to you earlier, and then my friend Tazzle talked to uh, what, Tazzle. What, what what was that guy's name at the base of the Iron Islands? Who was the old man you talked to? He wanted us uh, to go check on all. Uh, I have a note for this, I believe. Give me a sec. I know, that's what I'm asking. I also have notes for it, but I'm cheating. 
<laughs> I'm quizzing you. <laughs> Ricard, his name is. Ricard, yes. Yes, Ricard. Uh, to check on the uh, alpha Pokemon? Yes. The three. The three alpha? I think they're the three alphas, yeah. So we have to do uh, that? I see. And, yeah. ju or, and just any other, I guess. Kind of note anything else extra will be fine. El, I have some bad news for you. Uh. <laughs> well, your search for three is now the search for two. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. One of the big lads has been carted off by the black coats. In, 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 into the mining operation. No, as far as I know, completely off the islands. They took him. Abducted. Oh, which, which, one? which, well, you which one was it? Yeah. Ah, the the uh, the hip the pip uh, Pataras last the big uh, ground man. Sandy now, Sandy boy makes the lower level real uncomfortable. Okay, so from hold on, hold on. What we have in descriptions are <laughs> if I can find them. Uh, so what we have for. The fucking humanoid blue creature, a large sand wheeled monster, and a purple behemoth. Yeah. yeah. Which which one of those was it? <laughs> those are very reductive. Right? They're they're creatures too, you know. They have personality. Y yes, I know, but these are the descriptions Rykard gave to us. <laughs> I Rykard is a bit senile. God. Okay. The sand monster, I think, is the best thing you're going to get from him. But it's not a sand. He's not a monster. He's a very nice lion. Well, but he was. Large mammalian. Okay. No, it's a very nice lion. You can deal with the chafing. Anyway. Uh, that's quite unfortunate. But he's gone now. Um, well, maybe we should step in and see if there's anything we can up to make sure that nothing else happens to that area especially if that was a that area is a little bit late that looks if he's already gone they've already got what they needed from that the next best solution is we should go help the other two right uh okay yeah that sounds good. which suits your fancy you should split up hey eh? one and one what <laughs> two, and two, one, two and two let's see hey all right, I've watched Scooby Doo one too many times. Nope, not doing that. Nope. Uh, I, I apologize, I Nickel. Nickel, I apologize. Um, we've split up before. It never ends well. <laughs> hey, it's fine. All right, one and three. No. Would you, would you please? We, we we will all go together. Well, that's not going right, to work. Alright, I got a good idea. Why is that not going to work? Why is that not going to work? Well, it's because if we don't cover both grounds, they're going to get another. Ah, oh, fuck. So take <laughs> Jerry, Kendra, and I will go this way. Well, either that, or you can tell me which one you're willing to sacrifice, eh? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> The blue lad is a bit more important to the leadership of the island. He keeps all the critters in check. But uh, the big purple man, I like him. He's got a, he's got a good cut of his gym. Well, since the blue one is more important, why don't you go to him and we'll go to the other one? <laughs> it's not a bad plan. Seeing as you are definitely the strongest out of all. Uh, oh, don't, 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 don't be flattering an old man, eh? I, I, I am not flattering, it's just that. What, what did you say? I said I'm not flattering, it's just that. <laughs> oh. The Porygon pages work, down here. Porygon pages, eh? Uh, you probably get bad reception. <clears throat> or none at all. Like, is there a way, can we like, are they like radios too, or are they just straight like cell phones? Or just regular pages, like whatever? You know? They're, they're rudimentary cell phones. Okay, so it's not like an easy area, you know, radio. <clears throat> I figured we could try no, to No, if you don't day. have service to call outside of the cave, you wouldn't be able to call anybody elsewhere. Right, so it's more like a cell phone. Okay. 
Okay. Um, we would need like a walk. Yeah, like a walk jockey type thing, yeah. Well, you know what? I got my deal. As he says that, he kind of like immediately stops talking and starts staring at the ceiling. He seems to have like zoned off as he's thinking about something. I'm gonna look up there. <clears throat> Please don't blow a hole in the ceiling. I don't wish to die right now. Perception check, and it's a net one, so I don't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a dirty twelve. Um, you can't see you can't see exactly what he's looking at, but Taz, what you do discern is there is a very there's a very obvious, like, color discrepancy along the ceiling. Hmm. There's a there's a large oval, like, area on the ceiling that is that is not the same level of dark as the rest of the surrounding cave. Um. Well, I'm assuming the others haven't heard this, so Jerry is just going to be. He's going to keep his T-pose and shrink <laughs> back to the ground. Why would you do that? <laughs> uh, he's just just for just just for fucking shits and giggles. He just wants to look cool. <laughs> <laughs> How, hold on, I need to test something. Does Marshall stop as he's Jerry going to? Oh, he Christ. does not. He's not intelligent enough. Well, it's gonna take Marshall roll. Well, Marshall roll an attack on Jerry. Let's see if you can actually soak him. Uh, <laughs> oh, the nice, crit! Dude. All right, Marshall. <clears throat> Marshall, perfect. Marshall, dude. you succeed in in landing a water attack on Jerry. Just as he <laughs> just. Dying, as he, He's like, don't worry, mine. I got him. <laughs> hydro-, hydro pump ass fucking. Just as he manages to fucking hit the ground, and he's like, all right, I'm a. <laughs> and he's just blasted by this wave of water, which just leaves Jerry stopping wet. <laughs> I just imagine, like, a really stupid child being like, hey, get him. Don't worry, Mimi! Hey, get him! <laughs> oh, God. Well... So, Jerry, you, um, you're not injured oh, by this water, but you are you're sufficiently not. wetted. <laughs> I'm sufficiently wetted? Oh, my God! Jerry will turn back to Marshall and strip, <laughs> and then just sort of... again. Oh, jeez! God damn it. <laughs> You'll be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Jerry, you're able to get out of the way of the second blast that he tries to Im- he tries to immediately resoak you as it is his current operating directive. Uh he fails to do so. <laughs> Jerry's not trying to get out of the way. He mo- again. <laughs> Oh, he says again? Oh, okay. Well, Marshall is not able to muster enough water to produce such a flow as he did the second time. Uh, well, Jerry is now soaked but naked and he's just going to go fall off on a piece of, like, cloth that's hanging off the or somewhere. Like your pants. It seems like when you told Marshall to do that, he really gave it his all. One pump show. <laughs> hey, that was good. <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, every time, Marshall. God damn it. Uh, okay. So as you finally reach him, he goes, "Hi, that was the correct decision." Uh you two may want to stand back, like yeah, if you feel, you know, ten, fifteen, maybe. Uh, like here. Yeah. It's fine. You're just gonna get dirty if you cross. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Jerry and Tazel, I'll give you both a moment to react to that statement as well. Wait, wait, did he say? He said, "You said you're gonna want to stand back a ways, or you're gonna get dirty." Oh, all right, I'll stand back. Uh, where did you go, Tazel? Jerry and his naked little self crawled back into Nichols' brawls. 
Oh, jeez, you stepped way back. What'd you, what'd you do? You're going into his overhauls? Yes. Um, so, so, Jerry, uh, you are going to be covered in a thick layer of mineral dust as two grinding steel creatures protrude from the ceiling and land on either side of Nickel. Forge Master! No, they are not the Forge Master. Uh, neither of them... Mini, mini Forge Masters! Neither of them speaks uh, any coherent language. He does reach out to both of them with one hand each, and they kind of lean in to get their head pat, and he goes, Be good lads. Go check on the big purple one. Hi. Downstairs. See? Okay. Don't get hurt. I'll check on you in a bit. They receive his orders, and like good little dogs that are the size of buses, burrow into the ground, <laughs> shaking the cave around them and producing another burst of dust. Jerry, your beard is so full of mineral dust right now, it feels like you could cough up a freaking coal dust. <laughs> Interestingly, you sure? Uh, Jerry, uh, <laughs> you feel like you just like cough out a ton of coal right now. Like I can feel a furnace. Interestingly, um, nickel is somehow not dirty. How is inside nickel? You're in his overall. Your your limbs and face still got dirty. I didn't say his overalls weren't dirty. I said his skin isn't dirty. Hey, Hunter, out of curiosity for future reference, I can become a gaseous state. Can I go inside people without problems? No. I I, I can't just sort of. No, when you said inside him, I assumed inside his overall pocket. You cannot in. You cannot go inside. Gat, you still have volume. You cannot displace someone's internal organs without problem. Well, yeah, but I'm smoky volume, so like, I, doesn't matter. That's worse. That's if worse. If you go into someone's lungs, eventually they will, because you've replaced all of the oxygen. I was thinking the other. Um, uh, that's worse. <laughs> no, you can't. You cannot arbitrarily shove sixty kilograms of gaseous material into somebody without causing problems. <laughs> that will make that the title of the just that quote from Hunter. <laughs> you cannot. Uh, no, you cannot shove sixty kilograms of, ga of gas into someone <laughs> <laughs> without problem, without issue. So that's a terrible title. Don't do that. <laughs> I'll put that as the opening. <laughs> Go ahead. Trailer for the video. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> um, Nicole is going to um, look at the three of you, and he's going to be like, "Can you keep a secret?" Uh huh. Uh -huh. I'm shake his head. No. He's mute right now. He can keep a secret. Hi. <laughs> right. Well, I may be uh, a gym leader. Hi. Right? Yeah. Can't well, uh, you, yes, yes, we know, we know. Rudy, Rudy told us. Oh my God, damn it, Rudy! <laughs> why, 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 why do you think I said that you should go to the big one and that you're much stronger than us? <laughs> we're not stupid. <laughs> well, uh, unless we're talking about the short one. Um, <laughs> I say that. I say that because, um, well, we should prepare for combat. They're coming. Oh, what? Who? 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 Uh, black horse. The void, void. Your little magnitude thing should be. Shouldn't we be on the way to the purple <laughs> or the blue? No, they, they went to the purple. Yeah, but in order to get to the blue, we can't be followed, and then it'll just come back and abduct them as soon as we're gone. <sighs> Fuck. All right, everyone, get your teams out. <laughs> I get one. Get, get your choice, creature. Whoever your main is. I don't want the best of your best here. Now, the reason I ask if you can keep a secret, because I am obviously going to help you. 
but you can't let anyone else know that you know one of my teammates, eh? Your Steelix? No, not even like Steelix. Those are wild. They just respect me. Oh, fair enough. Oh, your teammate. Oh, oh there, I there is, uh, hear this in sign. Must be nice. To you have friends? Yes, yes, it must. Okay. You, can't, you can't let anyone know that you know my team or you'll be disqualified from facing me in the gym. I. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I, I, and I want to fight you fair and square, but I also don't want to leave you abandoned here. I. Fair enough. And it don't, and it don't feel right to beat up Pokemon with my own hands. People, I. Pokemon, no. Sure. Agreed. Jerry's just gonna slowly have the axe disappear from his hand. So he will, uh, you go, okay, everybody, no, no, no telling, okay? Uh, and he will throw a creature that is not even remotely familiar to any of you onto the field. What? That's a gun roll, right? No, that is not. <laughs> what is that? You don't want to know. That's sword head. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. so good. So who, who, who else are we fighting with? This is why oh, Firebolt will join us. Uh, actually, do you want me to use someone else? I don't want my fire types to affect you or still. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. Fair enough, okay. <laughs> no, friendly, no friendly fire, you then lost control your feckin' Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. He likes the AOE. Yeah, he go. He he does a lot of bim a lot of big boobs. So <clears throat> we'll work it out. It's been a while since Firebolt's fought. Actually, he's he's antsy. I'm sure. All right, uh, Tazzle, you're using straight. Half my team went down. We're on the fucking boat or whatever. I think. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I have all my team. <laughs> half of your, both of your guys' teams have her half. Oh, shit. Should have kept that wing ball. We actually lost Caleb and fucking Tinder in that wing ball fight. Soul is the only one I lost. Didn't I um, Jerry also lose his ace? Yeah, Jerry lost as Jerry lost as Modius and um got another one half health. I but I forgot who it was. And then didn't even get the Pokemon he was fighting. No. He had a grass type. Who was your grass type? That was his was Burgle or whatever his name is. The fucking ranged attacker. The sniper. Yeah, it was his Burghild. It was Burghild? You had Burghild that was Yeah, yeah he went down too, right? Oh. Brother. Um, Did Borg go? Down? No, he didn't go down. He's at half. Um, well, shit. I thought I had my Marowak completely saved and loaded. Give me a sec. Uh, I'm oh my god. Marowak. This, this thing's AC is monstrous. What the fuck? Alright. Uh, you should have Marowak. Let's see. You d you didn't get to complete the moves because you and Hunter had to. Break it. Oh, that's right, that's right. I do have meat beat too. Well, um, wait, where's the mallet? He's not in my uh library. Oh yeah, he is. Right now you have Steve and the Marowak and half of poor guild. Um, I don't want to use Hyperion. Or... Well, you don't have Hyperion. Those are your who you have. That's who you had last time. So Jerry, you should. One else. That that's your team. That's who you have. Well, Thrall is such, Thrall is such a good name. Oh my god. Uh, that's that's metaphorical. You're not gonna like what. I, um. Anyway, I'll go with Borg come back. Why did he say that? I don't like that. What he just said to me. Because <laughs> he's creating a mutant. Plans to fucking combine his marrow. Thanks for the spoiler. <laughs> you Marowak said it last. Oh my god, be great. Actually, two of you, but you forced that out of me. Um, anyway. Um, spoiler alert. <laughs> War kills at half health. I don't know why I jumped back. They always jump uh, back full when you put so uh, Just fix it. There you go. There we go. 
Yeah, they do that when they come back out. <laughs> this this thing is terrifying, by the way. Holy shit! <laughs> it's by sharp, yeah. It's not. It's not a bit sharp. <laughs> What are you talking about? That's a mega fish sharp, isn't it? No, 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 no. Is it? Is it a mutant? It's not. No, no, no. Dude, that's a bar sharp. No, it's not. This is a Gen Nine Pokemon. What? Mm-hmm. Does bar sharp evolve again? Yep. <laughs> But uh, Miss Sharp has a third evolution now. Uh, don't King look Game? into it, you cheater. King Gambit. Can Put it away, you cheater! I swear to God, I will. I swear to God, I will send a Mega Pokemon after you. <laughs> I I will kill everyone. Um. Yes, I did King nothing. Gambit. Yes, King Gambit. Um. King Gambit. King Gambit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, Tazzle, I'm assuming you're going to be a little bit closer to the group after this whole thing. So, you guys have chosen Straight Fork and Firebolt to be your 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 fighters. He well, goes, you said it was strong. I, all right, this is what we're working with: a half dead snowman, a crab, and a fire type who specializes in AOE versus snow and steel. Oh, well, I have three others that I can change to. The fucking. <laughs> What do you want? I have is, <laughs> is uh, me, I have a bird. That's the only other one I have. I don't think they're good with rock types and steel types. I can. Okay, look. The other. Th this. This is who I got. Okay. How about. How about you? From fucking. What else I have? Okay. I it's too late. It's too late, lads. Go to what you got. Go to what else you got. Go with your guts. It's too late. A group of people <laughs> comes running out of the, the darkness, kind of shouting at the three of you. There's, there's four. There's four of us. Or and three, because they can't see Jerry, because he's a... <laughs> <laughs> they just think Jerry is a Pokemon. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> yes. You see, uh, Nickel, he kind of like pulls off. He goes, I, which one of you is in charge? And this cocky looking motherfucker with a commander crest on his sleeve steps forward and kind of cracks his neck. He goes, I, all right. That's my opponent, lads. That one's mine. I forgot. Now. You and me, if we're gonna fight, we gotta take it away from the kids, eh? You get a very cocky smirk from him. He's like, he kind of gives him this look of like, why? In a very dense black cloud of smoke that starts up from Nickel's feet, you can see the shadow that he casts becomes so large that it's difficult to discern the people in front of you again. He goes, and this time when he cracks his neck kind of like the kid the leader did, you can hear it echo in the in the chamber as his fucking vertebrae is like a log snapping. He's like the commander who was just a moment ago cocky is like, oh no. A, a water type versus a water type, I'm guessing. Uh yeah, something like that. <laughs> uh, they pull out this unbelievably cocky looking crocodile. Oh yeah. <laughs> Kendra would have that if she used him. <laughs> oh, fuck that thing. I fought that thing. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that thing. <laughs> and then, uh, Borgild, on your side, because you also rolled on the high end, against your ice-type creature, which is a pain in the... Um, ice types are so hard to deal with. And they're so mint, like... Small amount of actual ice type Pokemon. Your um, your opponent is going to pull on your ice grass combination. A beaten and bruised, but obviously very well trained. Oh, 
Penguin. Penguin. Should that be a word? You need to find out. And we got half house, so maybe. <laughs> I can't wait to sugarcoat this stuff. Why don't Jerry just assaults the penguin? Like, then he can. Then him. And We'll turn a 3v3 into a 6 on 6. Yes. Ready for a battle royal? Yeah. Fuck yeah. And, uh... That's not the reason. Good day. No. Oh. <laughs> you... Unfortunately... My poor unfortunate soul... <laughs> poor unfortunate soul! <laughs> you have succeeded. Uh, you, you, why, why do you always have to do this? Whenever I put you on the line, you, you always plunge your poor boy into hellfire. <laughs> um, done a little, Chloe. A creature the size the likes of which has caused the near death of Kendra more than once <sighs> rolls onto the battlefield. Oh. Uh, no, not again! Fireball to have flashbacks. PTSD flashbacks. <laughs> yeah. Firebolt is just immediately like spasming, like, don't make me do this. I want one. Art is an explosion! <laughs> Art is an explosion. Yeah, that's the sore loser mode. <laughs> uh, Alright. Well, boys and girls, it's time for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm setting up stat blocks here. Boy, Strafe really got the uh the good opponent here. It's, it's, you got a good you got a good fighting chance, my boy. Um Alright, we got alright, we're gonna do three D twenties on my end here. My um my god. If I keep rolling like that today, we are all <laughs> so screwed. <laughs> You guys are so screwed! <laughs> oh my god. Uh... Alright. Turn order, let's see. Why do I have to zoom out so far to set the turn order roll twenty? Why are you like this? You. You. I gotta zoom out even farther to get board killed. Uh, you. And then who's next? The 11 is next. So then you. And then Firebolt. And then last on the stack is Strafe. We've taken the full brunt of this dragon rage. Okay. So 15 That's points better. of dragon. 15 points of dragon damage. And that leaves it Strafe's turn. Uh, okay, so bubble attack looks like you succeeded in two hits. Okay, so that's a total of plus two to each, so seven. All right. That leaves it the Angry Penguin's turn. Angry Penguin is still frozen, so we're back to the Croc Rock. Angry Penguin is angry. He's, he's, he's just fuming. Uh, the Croc Rock. Oops, that's not. How do I turn that off? There we go. The Croc Rock is actually able to chomp down on Strafe. This is going to. Um, this is gonna hurt a little bit, sir. That is twelve points of dark damage. As Strafe hangs on by the skin of his teeth, Borkild, you're up. 
More kills! Or is he? Or is he? At least this frozen part worked. <laughs> the, fro the frozen went very well. I armored. God damn it! You armored the penguin. Or <laughs> you succeeded in freezing the penguin, but at what cost? Um, <laughs> as your razor leaves are proving completely ineffective at the moment. <laughs> Don't cut through that ice. They just, just can't do it. And he has this look on his face like when I thaw out, you're dead. Um, Alright, this is the rock monster's turn. As he is now currently close enough to Firebolt to proceed to roll out. And in a third attempt, roll out is ineffective. So Firebolt, it's your turn. Uh... Firebolt's going to try and go for a scratch here. Okay. Don't know how this is gonna how this is gonna go, but we're just gonna go for it. Alright, Fireball, oh, you find your claws scrape along the side of this rock monster. And although they leave a gash, it does not seem to remotely affect the creature. Strafe. Woo! It's just crazy how fast we're going through this. <laughs> The turn order system just keeps it keeps everybody going because you know when your turn is coming. <laughs> it does do some damage. Whoa! Whoa. Right, you got two Whoa. hits there. Okay. Oh, no, uh, you are going to see this creature look strafe in his little crabby eyes <laughs> and intimidate the hell out of him. This causes his claws to waver, and he's going to ask you to roll the attack roll again. Oh. This is his once per battle and oh, I went <laughs> right into the shitter. <laughs> this, is, this is his once per once per uh, battle intimidation, saving him a significant amount of health. Uh, Penguin's turn. Penguin! Does he fall? Penguin, Penguin is still frozen. Uh, and now it is time for... Fr freeze is such a bullshit status effect. Um, and, and here is... Uh, here is the Crocodile. And the Crocodile is not able to bite you, Strafe, leaving it for Kill's turn. Oh, he is That's it. <laughs> He's just He's dying. Come on, Morgan, you can do it. Oh, just like, hey. He's done it. He hit the He's non -moving. done it. <laughs> He's chipped away. He hit the non-moving target. <laughs> you <laughs> asshole. Eat my ass. I'm sliding. <laughs> All right, the field is just damage. <laughs> Oh, oh no, that's Welcome so bad. Boat. All right, well, you succeed in damaging the Pengu, uh, which leaves us with Rock Monster. Rock Monster has yet to land an attack, which is very good for Fireball. That's crazy. Um, yeah, that one will do it, though. You just had to say something, didn't you? You I know. fuck. <laughs> you just had to say something. Uh, I did. I really, I kind of had to. Um, so firebolt, that's gonna look like this. So that's eight points of rock damage, sir. And that leaves it your turn. Uh, firebolt's had enough of this. Roll a deck save. <laughs> okay, a deck save on my part. Let's see. <laughs> Nothing. That's a not a. Um, he's gonna do something better than dragon rage. Oh. Okay. He's gonna. He. You're gonna take a full force of this uh, flame first, but it, it, it's not. It's not a dragon raid. It, it's dragon a flame. Raid. It's a flame burst. Um. You know the you're acid. Still, mine, you're. You're still only taking half. Better than half of half. It's better so than a quarter. <laughs> I, I, I want to. Uh, I want to point out that I am a benevolent DM because look who's in range of that. 
<laughs> oh no! Uh, I have one health! <laughs> Just let me attack one more time! No. Uh, Let so, the AoE slowly make its way to straight before he does his Kendra last right ditch now. effort. <laughs> you, you're lucky that I'm kind, because Kendra, you are literally the wizard right now who goes, I cast Fireball! I didn't ask how big the room is, I cast Fireball! <laughs> I cast Fireball. <laughs> How much damage? Is fine, fine. He'll do but it. I'm not ready. going for, for the sake of for the sake of the fun of it. I'm not going to um, impose that kind of restriction on you. So you can roll your flame burst if you so please. Are you sure? <laughs> I am being quite kind in this combat because it's it's entirely, entirely. Um. <laughs> Seventeen is that fire damage or is it is that dragon damage? That that's fire damage. That's fire damage. Okay, seventeen fire damage. So as you leave a scorching black mark on this thing's noggin, um, he obviously isn't as hurt from it as you would like him to be, but it is a significant amount of damage and it's Strafe's turn. Oh, bubble attack! <laughs> all right, you have succeeded in hitting all three bubbles. Okay, He's and he's still, is still managed, bags level of he's still managed to hang on by just a little. When you add the extra four to that, it's a total of twelve, and he's still just alive. Oh my god! Um, Three, two, it's one. the uh, it's the penguin's turn. Penguin, are you going to thaw? Penguin is still frozen. It is Crocorock's turn. <laughs> Crocorock looks at the little crab in front of it. it. Is going to try to bite you. Who will win? Oh, sorry, 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 little one. I'm sorry, little one. Um, that's gonna hurt it. Uh, you are gonna take 15 dark damage, sir. Nice. Ouchie. Strafe is crunched on his freshly regrown claw. He's like, no! <laughs> <laughs> like, he, wa he watches it crack again. He's like, no! <laughs> it just passed <laughs> <laughs> um, All right, we'll deal with what the we'll deal what happens now um, with, the, with that as we get there. Um, so after Krokorok is going to be board kill. Alright, If you wish, are you gonna are you gonna have to play another creature tassel, or are you gonna step out of this combat? Fucking, you better finish that shit off. Oh yeah, <laughs> I wasn't sure when I could right away. Or... Yeah, you can. You just you'll have, you'll roll. You put one in, roll initiative, and it'll be in the next turn after you. I rolled razor leaf. I missed. You rolled the razor leaf and you whiffed it again. Um, yeah, all right, and stop. you're. So you're going to be add turn. So 10, uh, you're going to be right after. You're going to be before Fireball, but you're not going to go on this side. Um, so the Grok monster is still in range for rollout. So he's just going to keep that shit going. Okay. So this time, the rollout is going to be worth a little bit more, as you know how rollout works. So this time the rollout's gonna look like this. So you take 18 firebolt, I believe, and that's that's double. Rocky damage. Yeah. Uh me peep you go on the next cycle, so firebolt it's your turn. A heavy uh, hit. Roll, okay. roll a deck save. A dexterity okay. save, which is gonna look like a flat D twanky. This dude hasn't succeeded on a, a deck save in his life. Okay. Uh, Firebolt is in his last dragon rage. So okay. So not oh, well. 15 dragon damage. Um, that is more than half the health I have left. So I say no, and I take seven. Excuse me! Oh yeah, that, that ability. Uh-huh. You used sturdy, you cook. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did, I did. Of course, um, fucking thing sturdy. Of course, we gave Fireball's arch nemesis 
and, um, one of Firebolt's arch nemeses and I, fucking sturdy. Can I can I just remind you that you rolled a two on the difficulty modifier for this fight, so do not <laughs> compl- do not complain at me. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Do I wake up? Penguin, are you still frozen? <gasps> the penguin lives! <laughs> I have been frozen for ten minutes. <laughs> the penguin wants blood, and he's coming for you. <laughs> oh, let's find out. Borg Hill, are you about to get ripped to shreds by an angry poultry? You are not, as he is still a little too frozen to hit you. All right, the Crocorock sees that you have deployed another creature, and he's like, I ain't hear no bell, and he walks over (laughs) for for a bite. Which he is uh, unable to hit. He kind of aims to crunch down a Meep's head and just ends up between the two of them. (laughs) Four guilds are up. Four guilds up. All right. No. Outer shell. Oh. If, you, oh. if you get another 18 and up, <laughs> if you have potioned me for the second time, <laughs> Bora killed you are unable to land a second powder snow as the traumatized penguin dodges this attack. Um this creature, turn three of rollout. Whiffed. Whiffed like a slut. Alright, meet me, you're a <laughs> fucking nat one. That would have killed you, Fireball. Uh, nat one. Alright, so we're just gonna lead up to a just a quick um, quick attack. That's uh, not a terrible option. Alright, quick attack for how much? <laughs> so half of that is two. Because he's enraged. Uh, uh, which incidentally is actually still enough. So, Meat Beep comes out and just pecks him on the noggin. As 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 soon as the croc rock misses this bite, both beaks just come together in between and go dunk, and the croc rock is just down by the <laughs> count. That's what, <laughs> what I was imagining when you said that. Beep. All right, Firebolt. Um, Firebolt is going to try and go in for another scratch. Alright. Firebolt, give me some some damage on that scratch. Please. I'll take it. (laughs) So, five points of damage to the boy. Fuck off! (laughs) I hate you! I fucking hate you! And we're moving on to the penguin. The penguin out for blood. Will he get some? Oh no. Borakil, I'm so sorry. No, you're not. You relish this moment. I do <laughs> relish this moment a little bit as he's coming at you with a peck. Cool. <laughs> that's an ouchie. <laughs> that um that's oh, that's yes, not <laughs> that's that's um, not that's not ideal and I'm so sorry. Um what kind of damage is that? That's twelve flying damage, sir. So is that double? It's actually neutral because you're also ice. Yes. I think. Oh, uh, cool. Yes, so. Let's go. You should, yeah, you should uh, should check your resistance, but I believe it to be neutral. Um, because the ice definitely saves you on that one. Four kills, drop. Four kills, give me your weight. To the head. Um, or not weak to it. Oh shit! Now I'm dead. I still ha- I still catch the weakness of flying. Oh, the ice does not resist flying. That is nope. so sad. Well, Borkill gets his fucking little scalp torn off by an angry penguin who's been frozen for ten minutes. Um, are you going to deploy another creature? I don't remember who's in my party, but yeah. I mean, you got Marrow left. <laughs> Ooh, oh, Steve. <laughs> Roll initiative for Steve. Oh, oh <laughs> Fourteen. All right. So Steve is going to pop into the turn order. He's going to normally be right before this guy, but not this time because he gets skipped the first time he's in the turn order. 
Uh, all right. It's the giant rock monster's turn. The giant rock monster is going to pick up a rock and huck it at your ass. Which is just terrible. Fireball's a dodgy bitch. Meep, meep, you're up. <laughs> All right. Jeez, uh, uh, this is a tough one. Who do you help? I'm going to run right over to help Steve. All right, to the penguin. Just oh. fuck Fireball. <laughs> Watch Fireball's gonna get murdered on his next turn. He's like, I blame you! <laughs> I'm hoping not, but yeah. Bam. Counter pecked. Fireball, you're up. Okay. Um, well, since everyone is vacant, this. Hunter, Dex Oh, Jesus Christ. That's not, <laughs> urgent. That's not very nice. Oh. Oh, no, that hurts my feeling. And my face. And your face. There you go. 14 points of fire damage? Okay. 14 it's points so of fire damage cool. is equal to 7 points of fire damage. Okay. So I'll take the 7 points of fire damage. Sweet. Penguin. Penguin is le pissed. At the person who just pecked him. He's like, I have been frozen this entire fucking time. <laughs> then you sneak up behind me and boot me on the head. <laughs> yeah. La bitch. This, uh, and this, this penguin, you can see his claw just sharpens and hardens to a steel-like structure. You gave it. Damn it. Oh, okay, that does something. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, he's going to hit you for the following. Damn it, that's what it You take... That's not that bad. You take nine points of steel damage. I'm not weak to Steve, you're up. Ooh. It still hurts. There's a clear no. slash across no. Meepy's stomach, but... Alrighty. Steve is gonna use Ember. Oh. Steve, we're going for Ember. All right. Want to move, move up? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, does he really want to be the last thing that hit him in range of him? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Jerry doesn't know, so let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Eighteen is plenty. Give me the damage. Uh, the damage. I need the damage, 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 damage. So you know what's so funny about this is I am an evil, evil little man. There's no healing station. Correct. <laughs> but a fire damage is worth six points of damage to the Bangu. Even though that was a, uh, a crit. It's not a. It's not a crit. Oh, wait, it, it, yes, it is. He's embered. He's embered because it's. Em Ember does not crit on an 18. He's burned! Oh, he's no, burned no, 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 from no. 18 Oh, he's 20. burned. Oh, he's burned. Oh, burned. Burned is not a crit, but he does get burned. No, he doesn't get burned. It's 19 to 20. I missed by one. Son of a bitch. You guys are confusing me. Uh, <laughs> it's the big monster's turn. Big scary monster is going to throw a rock at you. And it worked. Fool's, Fool's not. And it's going to Fool's work. Fire I'm going to boop the fuck out of you. Um, this is this is for your face. Have have this. This is for your face. Sixteen points of rock damage. Oh, As fireball, it's a fucking boulder smashed over his head. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do something cheatsy? Can I have him at the same time, or is that cheating? That's Can like I the last one. Because he sees his death coming and he's just like, ah! What is he trying to do? <laughs> do like a, he sees his death coming. He knows it's going to hit him, but he doesn't have time to die. So, wait. Ah, oh, god damn it. I had a fucking. He was blazed up too. Fuck. 
fuck! <laughs> Since he just hit Blaze. <laughs> he did not hit Blaze, he hit Death. <laughs> did he do like a last hurrah? <laughs> that is not that is that is not a thing for creatures that do not have that ability. <laughs> Aww. He, he, can, he can try that, but the odds of it working are what, what do I what do I what do I roll? <laughs> I mean I mean I'll I'll tell you if he can get a crit, he can do it. Last hurrah. What if do you want can, me to roll? He, I want you to roll a d20, and if he hits a if he hits a crit, he can take the rock monster with him. <laughs> Complete opposite. <laughs> well, that, well, that didn't happen. Uh, the so, game says fact, nay. Here's what happens, right? He gets docked over the head and is just unconscious. But to Firebolt's perspective, he has this heroic moment. It's this daydream. <laughs> This heroic moment where he dodges the rock at the last second, fires off the biggest fire blast he's ever produced, and melts the rock monster. And he looks back at you, he's like, yeah, yeah. And in actuality, in like a sitcom, when it cuts to reality, he's just bleeding from the head, unconscious on the ground. <laughs> Are you going to deploy another creature, Kendra? Yes, 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 I am. Oh my god. That was amazing. Thank you. For <laughs> um It's like a, it's like a Brock Samson moment. I could dodge it. You <laughs> could do it. Oh Magnolia! <laughs> Magnolia oh my gosh, the little ass. I don't think she's ever been in a fight. <laughs> yes she has. <laughs> she <laughs> has Oh, she has him for a while. She had level six cadavers to wear candy on her. Did I? You did. You used ketchup levels on her. Um, we're going to... I don't we're remember going to... that. We're... <laughs> yeah, she's never been in a fight. Well, actually, she has. You're right. But not since you she caught her. She started at level two, and she got it's a level... It's been a while. It's been a while since she fought anything. Um, go ahead and... Um... Roll her initiative. Let's see where she lands. Okay, hold on. There's there the so we have to figure out which one it's first. Try hold on. Which magnolia is it? What's the third? I got the right one. Sweet. Okay. Nope. I need a a one. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh two. Initiative. There's your initiative. <laughs> There's your filthy initiative. So you're gonna go right the. Back bottom of the turn order. Um, meet beep, girl. Alright, I'm gonna quick attack it. <laughs> okay. Why does Rage add plus two? Because he's level five. Rage skills with level? Yeah. Oh, then I did the Crocker Ox entire battle wrong. Fan fucking tastic. Alright. Yeah, Five is plus two, four plus four at ten, plus six at seventeen. So that's seven points of normal type damage, and then I thought he was older than that. What is he what's his beard black? Uh is Jerry's can I go up? For 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 forty, yes. <laughs> No pack. Uh, Penguin's turn. Um, luckily for you, Steve, you're not the last thing that hit the penguin. There you go. Forty year old, forty year old man. <laughs> That's uh, Meepy. Unluckily for you, you are the last thing that hit the penguin. Hmm. So this is for you. You get twelve points of steel damage. Steve, you're up. Mm. Oh! Kill him, Steve! Kill him! He's gonna have to do a big boy touch for that. Kill him, Steve! Use ghost damage, you dumbass! Alright, well, there's. <laughs> he doesn't know! He doesn't know what a print up is! <laughs> yeah, but he's. He doesn't not... know what a print up is! Yeah, but he's not. Un... He's not unaware of the fact that the fire didn't do as much damage as it should have. Right, and the fact it. that the penguin is fucking blue. Uh, <laughs> I'm asking, I apologize. <laughs> That's all right. We've got. Let's uh, just we... chose the worst creature to go against. 
that Pokemon. Kennedy, I'm yeah. so sorry. No, you're what not. do you mean? You did a. F well, that was a. That was not the kind of check you think it was. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> I at least double kick it in the face first, because that's what I was gonna do. <laughs> you cunt of a man. Can I you fuck off? <laughs> Don't you <fucking> dare. <laughs> Alright. It's an explosion. I fucking hate you. <laughs> More like initiating self-destruct sequence. Here we go. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to give you one opportunity to hit him before he goes down. He's going to explode either way. But you see him start to glow internally, and he chuckles at the knowledge that he's going to take you with him. And Magnolia, your kicks accomplish nothing. <laughs> that is, you are not able to stop this from happening, and he detonates. Shaking the entire cave for 26 normal type damage. I just live. <laughs> I live, but just. You Leaving it me turn. <laughs> she literally came out, tried to kick him, and she Mom, fucking why? <laughs> I love that the first time you deploy her, she's like, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Meep Beep, you hit for seven points. So, Meep Beep, in your standard dirty tactics is you're unable to do real damage. You finish the fight with a quick attack. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. So, the grunts seeing their Pokemon defeated are already hoofing it away from you guys as they disappear <laughs> off into the darkness. <laughs> And his combat subsides. It is worth noting, Tazel and Jerry, you guys hear the loud explosion of the rock monster going off and <laughs> obliterating Magnolia. <laughs> but you see this deer who looks like fucking Two Face just standing there, like, ow. <laughs> She's like, he may have blown up, but I lived. <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> I will survive. Um, I will survive. It, is, it is worth noting that at this time you see a a what the f that's amazing um, that looks like from something from RuneScape the sprite I just sent you? yes thank you sir uh, it is worth noting at this point a set of void grunts come forward. Not the set that you were fighting recently. They come just to where you can see them. And they look at the three of you. And they're smirking menacingly. Jerry's just going to squat and pee to show dominance. I'm going to seat them. <laughs> Drop the legs. Okay, you see this red... Dis like this red shadowy aura in front of them absorb the sh seeds and they kind of melt into this black goop. Yeah. And they hold out this little red crystal in front of them and you hear stomping behind you. Okay. What? This is... Or behind them. <laughs> behind, them. Behind, behind them I meant to say, sorry. Oh. Behind them, happening? there there is this enormous just shaking of the earth as the ground itself seems to be like, not liquefying so much, but becoming granular. Like it is melting into sand. And from behind them, this creature, its eyes entirely devoid of normal life, just glowing in red anger, almost swims through the earth. 
what is that? That's a- and just begins to move towards you. Oh no! <laughs> and its eyes are just flaming red. Oh no! Oh no! You would. It's moving very slowly, but very clearly at the behest of these grunts. This time you hear a, a thudding from behind you, much more rhythmic and much more controlled than the other thuds. Oh. Stop it. <laughs> and from behind all of you, you can hear Rudy once again carrying two grunts by the scruff of their collars, followed by his undamaged partner, or sorry, yes, Nickel. You hear Nickel, undamaged by the last uh, fight, carrying two grunts, and his undamaged partner return. And as he drops the body, he goes, uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. Is that your sand buddy? Aye. Well, they brought him back. He looks pissed. No shit. This is... What'd you do? Us? I haven't done anything. We just beat the little uh, They have a red crystal and he appeared. Oh. That's not good. What are you gonna do about us? Destroy the crystal, I guess. <laughs> you think so? Hit it with he the looks down. He looks down at it, all out of ammo. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can see, you can see that Nickel uh, acknowledges your plan. He goes, "You sure that's what you want to do, Lass?" I mean, he didn't do anything wrong. You shouldn't hurt him or try to. You should all right. understand. <laughs> well, Sashi, you know the plan, lad. This creature in front of him, who apparently responds to that name, gets hoisted by Nickel and heaved forward, tilting his sword head straight forward. He cleaves through this red barrier and his head collides with the crystal. This causes a slow buildup of red energy in waves to just like pulse back and forth. And time kind of seems to cease as this red energy begins to overtake the world. And Nickel in the second he, he has before this energy reaches you guys kind of mutters brace yourself. Oh crap, I'm to Magnolia. <laughs> Jerry will just go smoke <laughs> and take off around. He said brace. <laughs> I'm not touching anything. Nothing. Can... <laughs> uh, that's not how that works. That's just melee attack moves. That are normal. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I mean, that's just how that works. Jerry's going to well, go well, to the well, side of this time to up a pant leg. <laughs> You're going where? Up, up Nickel's pant leg. Oh, God. I am sorely tempted to roll for Nickel to rip the mightiest ass and just expel <laughs> <laughs> Do it. As he goes to do whatever uh, he's to do. <laughs> <laughs> All over Jerry. Uh, Pick up poison damage because it's a oh, gas move. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah, terrible. Poison, I was going to say, uh, yeah. You're breathing yeah, no, I'm going to make... I'm gonna make you roll a D100 for what percentage of your smoke form becomes Nickel's ass gas. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's good. What rolls a perfect 100? Well, that adds a whole never new layer to you. You never uh, saw you again. <laughs> uh, here we are. Well, oh, this energy overtakes all of you. It feels like a wave of of just pure pressure that attempts to overcome you but as it passes it leaves you feeling like your body is burning 
It replaces all thoughts in your head with rage toward whoever the last person to have wronged you is. And leaves you feeling incapable of emotion outside of blind anger. Mm. But as the second wave of energy that clears this red passes, this this lack of control subsides and your emotions stabilize. And the large sand creature, you can see its eyes begin to fade into the normal red hue that they tend to have. And the burning red energy in them dissipates. And as it kind of like closes its mouth and kind of composes itself and looks around for a moment, it turns around to look at the void grunts who were fairly smug a minute ago. And you can see it just begin to menacingly start moving toward them as they have this dead, colorless look on their face and just stumble away in the fastest sprint they're capable of doing with this amount of fear. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> Should have just kept it on the boat. Idiots. I think that's Tara? It's likely Jerry if we're talking about. Last person to wrong us. <laughs> I was gonna almost say. Uh, no, actually, I don't know. Do you see really? Kendra technically, it'd be the two asshole. grunts. Because... No. <laughs> no, technically, it's the two grunts from last time that. Oh, yeah, those dirtbags. <laughs> you, um, you guys hear this, like, coughing sound? As uh, that same puff of smoke is just like very quietly happens behind you. And yes, you kind of like get the moment to look at Nickel. He's in a much more <laughs> gentle form once again. And he's like, oh, takes a lot out of me, you know. Not a surprise, I used to be. How do you do that? <laughs> I. Uh, hard to explain, I suppose. Uh, I could tell you, but you wouldn't believe me. Trade secrets, I guess. <laughs> uh, not trade secrets so much as it takes 30 years of being a steel type uh, expert. And a little bit of uh, magic. Fair enough. Uh, yes. Put it in the way uh, Put it in the way that this is lost. Um, those muscles aren't entirely magical, just the ability to have them at my age, maybe. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Are you able to do that, Seven, or just to take that? Is it what? I didn't hear the question. Are you able to stay in that form for long periods of time? I mean, that? through significant effort. <laughs> it's very hard, you know. <laughs> it's basically how is best to describe it. Um, let's put it this way: I eh? uh, flex every muscle in your body at the same time. And then have someone ask you to do that for a while. Fair enough. <laughs> Magnolia is just gonna come over, start licking salt off of his pant legs. <laughs> like, yeah. As as he start, as she starts licking salt, you, you can see Jerry just slip out of that pant leg. <laughs> like, She's a deer after all. She's like mineral. Chase, Jerry, Chase, you, just kind of like, you just gotta squirt your way out of the freaking <laughs> the oh, leg. I don't say snow. It, I'm a gag. I don't squirt. Come on, I've got some pride here. <laughs> <laughs> to be squirt. fair, it went, it went from like very cramped in those overalls to like being like six sizes too big in the course of like 10 seconds. <laughs> so it's like, you're like, oh, oh. And it, it, and it it probably smells like old man swamp ass in there, so you you can't be too um you can't be too happy about what just happened. You did manage to not get hit by the force wave from that though. So that is true. That is Jerry, true. I have um I have an interesting role. I need you to make me a perception check as you have now made close contact with Nickel for a second time. Okay. Uh in the momento. Perception. 
I I am still uh plus two. <laughs> I perceive nothing. Oh, I perceive everything. Damn it. Um, you are uh Jerry. You make the connection as you're leaving his pant leg. The having touched him for a second time, this is not a coincidence. Um, touching nickel does not feel like touching flesh. Okay. <laughs> it feels like you just went inside like, <laughs> like a pipe vent or something. The the flesh of his leg was not like warm and 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 had some manner of give to it like a leg should. It was as if there was a steel column holding a skyscraper up that you were just wrapped around. It's his overalls. They're magic. Jerry, Still up. Jerry, is just... Jerry's gonna turn to Kendra and just sign like sign language. He's got a cock of steel. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> um I'm gonna roll to see if Kendra pays attention to you. <laughs> Okay, well, let's find out what your uh, attention span roll. Oh, okay. You you do notice what he said. <laughs> oh. <laughs> do what you will about it, but you know that you I, heard I catch it. the first part, but then I, like, fade off the second part. Having a feeling I know where this is going, I'm just like, ah, okay, I don't know that. <laughs> Which is quite unfortunate. I think uh, higher up, sir. Worried, providing them better uh, equipment, so to say. Problematic. I can only do so much, you know? Yeah. I should put that. That's cheating. You can't uh, You can't learn what he's capable of quite yet, right? <laughs> oh, I'm sure we can't. <laughs> Oh, you'll learn. You'll learn soon enough. Blue man upstairs is all okay. He's doing just fine. And the purple guy? Purple guy I haven't heard any news on yet. Snakes haven't come back. So, you must be happy that we got the uh, sandy guy back. <laughs> That was a good coincidence, eh? I'm happy to see that. Are you pleased with the decision you made? Uh, to free him, yes. I would have rather done that than fighting him. Oh, not to free, not to free him. We were always going to free him, but the way we did it. Are you pleased that the crystal's gone? <clears throat> I, I would say so. But now that it's gone, we can't learn anything about it, eh? True, but true <laughs> have you seen you such know a thing that it causes uh, severe rage <laughs> you felt so rage uh yeah oh I, what were you, you angry about it, it's weird to explain it's like the last people that harmed me or my group here just flashed my head and just, I felt severe anger and that I in any way I could <laughs> and you Tazo same yeah that's fascinating what about you my wee little crotch goblin great <laughs> Crotch <laughs> goblin weasel. Wait, me? Yeah. I. <laughs> what did you? Say? What did I feel? Um, Jerry's just gonna say I felt nothing. He he tends not to feel anything anyway. Did he just muck? Did, did he Actually, just muck? No, Jerry, Jerry's just gonna say I felt empty. I thought, uh, I thought you. I thought you literally said. I thought you were gonna say out loud and try to mock his accent. <laughs> no, that's the first words of Jerry. He's mocking a giant jack. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not a giant right now. Right now, he's a fucking 
like manlit carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> manlit. It's <That's> terrible. <laughs> He's a guy. How about you, guys? Uh, I felt nothing. Not at all. I didn't feel any sort of rage or emptiness or no, it didn't affect me at all. It was a wee little flash and a flash of red, but I didn't feel it. Must not have been strong enough to get through to me old noggin. Pretty empty yeah. up there. Too many times getting hit in the head with a bastard of a rock. Fucking Rudy. How do you guys know each other? Uh, I don't timing, but... Family relation. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Is a familiar relation? Like a cousin? or Uncle. Was not expecting that. <laughs> Aye. Interesting. This is just... Mario knows! This is... He's an old fart, isn't he? Yeah? I mean, I'm an old fart too, but he's an old fart. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't... He, he doesn't act like it. Does he have, like, the same thing you do? Or is he... How's he able to just... No, no. This is... This is special to me, lad. Oh, okay. When I was when I was your age, I looked like that all the time. Oh shit. Huh. And then as you get older, it just kind of wears at you, I guess. Hi, but <laughs> there are ways to recapture your past or future. I don't know how to explain it to you. Though I can see the look of it on you, Kendra. You know what I'm talking about. What do you, what do you mean? Oh, you boy. No, you know, seriously. Be... What is, what? Hunter, back up. I didn't hear what he said. Something about... He said there are ways to reach into your past and future. True. Although revisiting it is not pleasant. Oh, I mean purely for the uh, ability to regain or to preemptively gain powers you shouldn't have. Well, I guess that goes for every every one of us then. Well, in a way. But it's uh, especially applicable to you there, right? I might be an old man and a stupid one at that, but I ain't the blind one yet. I see that ring. I'll recognize who it's from. I don't know what you're talking about. Have you not seen it with your own eyes yet? It's just a ring. Wait, Hunter, which one is he talking about? <laughs> the feather. Ah, uh, yeah, I figured. Because I... So be it, lass. You don't have to talk about it. I don't know you to not talk about it. I... But I think I know you a bit better now. Well... You don't know me at all. More than you think, lass. More than you think. But, it. it'll be alright. I'll know you better when I get to actually uh, have some alone fighting time with you, if you make it that far. But a fire type trainer ought to make it. We'll see. As with a lot of you, I suppose you've got options if you want to look around the island a bit more. Feel free. It's a bit dangerous here. More than a bit dangerous here. But it looks like for the time being, the blue lad's got himself under control. You can visit him if you like. He's on the top. Not floor at the moment. Yep. Well, I best get back to the lab, letting them know what 
happening around here? I'll be headed back on the boat with you. I'm headed out of here now. I've done what I need to do for the time being. Gotta get back to the gym. If I leave for too long, people can get uppity. Fair enough. Are we all in agreement then? Shall we go home? Kind of live. Yeah, sure. I wanted to try to look for flying dudes in here. Oh, you want to catch? Uh, I mean, uh, what time? Anyone? Uh, does anybody have a watch? Does anybody have a watch? <laughs> what time is it just coming out? <laughs> How much time we got left? Oh, a couple of hours. You he won't head out past nightfall, but you'll make the trip at night, but you won't head out past nightfall. Uh, since the ship's leaving in a couple hours, might as well look around. I, I will, uh, I'll be on the boat. I'll have them wait for you as long as they can. If you miss them, just hang out with old Reichardt, senile old fart he is. Don't tell him I said that, he's a good lad. But he tells stories. Some of them true. Some of them exaggerated. He's got some good ranger stories, though, I'll tell you what. You might be interested, Tazel, if you ever uh, get the inclination to talk to him. Should uh, get to ask him about some of the old ranger posts around the nation. Uh, yeah, good idea. Not all of them are still occupied, but he could tell you an awful lot of history. Hmm. That said, history is... How we put it, yeah, he doesn't have the best memory in the world, you know. But he knows a lot of people. He knows a lot of things. He's seen a lot of things. But yeah. might want to ask him. Uh, might want to ask him a bit about how you progress as a ranger. Right? I still see you be a rank one. Yeah. Probably worth. Probably worth more than that in salt. If you don't know anything about the progression tests yet, I recommend you learn. Progression tests? Alright, write this down. Well, that's how you progress as a higher rank, eh? Yeah, rangers sense. don't ever really... Your level as a ranger is based on a lot of things, I. Right? Um, one of them being a test. So, I mean, the councils can deny your increase and upgrade if they don't think you're worthy of it. That's obvious. Or don't think you're ready for that station. That's also possible. Or if they don't need rangers of that station at that level. Regardless, there are reasons they can be denied, but you shouldn't have to worry about being denied to get to the higher ranks, I eh? Most of progressing through the first five ranks is taking progression tests and proving that you're worth it. Right. You're still... You're still the level of ranger that I could be if I went and joined today. And I think you're better than that, I. Eh? So go prove it. To talk to some people about these things. Hi. Thank you very much. I didn't know about that extra stuff. Uh, as for a lot of you, if you're gonna be staying on the island for a couple more hours, at least let me give you a present, hi. Uh, okay. Each of you is going to receive this spiky yellow star. Revive! It's not, really a, it's not really a stars because it has spikes in every direction. Uh, he goes, give it to one of your lads. It's the size of like a little candy. Give it to one of your lads. Have them bite down hard. You might have to help their jaw if they're really knocked out good. Make sure they swallow it. They'll be good as rain. Won't restore their moves, but it'll restore them to fighting capacity. Got it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, giggity. 
<laughs> Might help you stay a little longer safer, eh? I'd hate yeah. to see you guys all stay here with only one Pokemon each, eh? Okay. I'm on my last one right now, and he's... Hurting. There's some dangerous... Some dangerous things in the side, you know? Wild Steelix for a lot of you might be the end of you. God, yeah, that's true. Be careful. And, uh... You know where to find me. I'll be on the boat. Less than you feel like you need uh, supervision. Help. Uh, what do you guys think? I hate, be, uh, I hate to be an old fart, old father, but I offer the help if you need it. Have you seen... Do you know what a Torkoal is? Have you seen any of them? Torkoal? It's like, a, it's like a walking turtle. Like a big nope. tortoise. I'm a... Uh, Aware of what you're talking about. I've been on this island a lot of times, and I've seen them a few. They're not always in. I can't tell you if there's one around right now, but they they are around. They exist here and once in a while. Very few of them. They're smoky bastards. Yeah. I'd say if you want to find them, don't look for the turtle. Look for the smoke. And if you find the smoke, you know one's there. A lot easier to identify a chamber full of smoke than it is to find a turtle. Fair enough, fair yeah. enough. I'm gonna keep looking for these glide. Oh, that little purple bastards. <laughs> yeah. You'd think they'd be bat like and they'd hang out on the ceiling, but you'd be wrong because they're ambush predators. They're not going to want to be seen. They're not going to be right out in the open. I were you, and you want to be clever with a Gligar. Best thing you can do is trick it into trying to sting something. If it thinks it's got food, it'll come out of hiding all on its own, and you don't have to do anything. Right? Y'all sat down there, Crotch Goblin. Oh my. Crotch Goblin? <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's gonna crook his head at this nickname and then go assault Nickel and just sort of cup his balls real quick. Oh, oh my god, no. So, um, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> well, Nickel is not fast, so he's not going to be able to dodge this, but you are going to get this. <gasps> <laughs> oh, um, and Jerry, unfortunately for you, it feels like you just grabbed a hold of two steel ball bearings. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's just gonna look up at him wide eyed, sign like you sign language to say, You're poor, why? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Deadpool reference. Rapey midget. <laughs> you know, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. That's good to hear, Loss. Um, I'm going to punt the little kid if he doesn't get out of my nuts, though. Hey, I've done, do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it before. I've done it before. Feel free. Jerry's just going to caress the board real quick and then walk away. <laughs> I have seen, and I have been exposed to a significant amount of physical trauma in my adult life. <laughs> Hold on. I'm I'm more disturbed by that than I have been <laughs> many other things. We are two on a daily basis. I'll, I'll, I'll look. I'll look at. Uh, I'll look at Nickel real quick. I'll be like, let me help you with that. I'll look down to Magnolia and nod, and giving her permission Jerry's to ask Jerry, walking by to double kick Jerry, which no. is a fighting type move. I'm not. Uh, double, oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> no, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> Jerry's gonna start poisoning your shit if you keep bullying him. One hoof, one hoof on each testicle. Back, back. <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna see. I mean, <laughs> you get one. You get one. To be, fair, 
Jerry never really fully left smoke form, so his testicles are still fucking gaseous at the moment. <laughs> I'm not- I, it's double kick! It's a fighting move! And ghosts oh, are completely immune to fighting as they are normal. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's just gonna you flip off this. and drum, like dramatic eye contact as he floats by. There's just a hook that goes flying through the smoke where his testicle should be. <laughs> it's like, ah, well, like this is. It does manage. It is. It is to be fair, mildly uncomfortable to have your testicle smoke displaced for a moment. <laughs> Jerry's just gonna form two balls out of the smoke underneath him and juggle them. Oh, oh Jesus Christ! By balls, they're literally balls of smoke. Like, they're just... Cool. Can I steal them? <laughs> I mean, you'd have, to make a dex, you'd have to make a sleight of hand check to get them that out of here. That would be an arcana check. It's smoke. I mean, it's true. I guess it, it, is, it is kind of an arcana check to grab them out. <laughs> and then fucking lob them. <laughs> Are you capable of manipulating? You don't even know if those are his testicles. That could be his spleen for all you know. <laughs> <laughs> you just fucking uh, lost. <laughs> okay, well, you are capable of manipulating Shadow, but are you sleight of hand fast enough to grab them before Jerry realizes you're trying to steal them? <laughs> it's a double roll. Let's find out. You are capable of grabbing Shadow thanks to your nature. Oh, no. Jerry. <laughs> She manages through both the through the influence of her shadow wings. She is able to reach out quickly enough and grab a hold of one of the balls of shadow that you are juggling. <laughs> Jerry is gonna look over her, stick out his tongue, and just sign. Jokes on you. That's my taint. <laughs> ah, that's nasty. The question is, what happens if you're reform and you're missing your taint? <laughs> I think everything just falls out. <laughs> I just want to I'll just be gashing. Kendra, Kendra is going to be. Yeah, Wait, Kendra, what are you doing? <laughs> Kendra! Kendra doesn't know how to feel about Jerry signing those words. So she's just going to shrug and be like, all right, and then throw them over here. Uh. <laughs> Smoke and it's me, so I'm just gonna <laughs> back to me. <laughs> Jared, so you're just gonna go retrieve it? Okay. <laughs> just well, I'm gonna pull it to me. Oh, like, I'm you're just go. coming it back to you like a T-1000. Yeah. Jared, Jared, that's not normally part of your repertoire. Let's see if you can generate that. Because if you can Arcana. generate Because if you can Arcana that, then in my head I'm seeing you start to generate the like minor regeneration ability. Oh, that would be neat. Do I pull it back? That is, I'm going to say, sufficient to have the smoke back into your car. Very call. nice. Be Kendra's helpful in some ways. <laughs> so, despite having your taint stolen from you and chucked across the room, what you have discovered is potentially a method to minorly regenerate yourself. Damn. That's oh. useful. Anyway, uh, Nickel has given each of you a, a max revive. Give it to Caleb. Okay. Give it to Fireball. <laughs> he has offered you help, though it does not seem that you guys have been wanting for his help, so he's going to go back to the boat. Uh, especially after Jerry molested him and he's feeling a little... Uh, God damn it, ruining all our allies. <laughs> he's feeling a little bit, like, unsure... He's like, right, well, uh, best of luck to you. I'm gonna go lie down. Welcome to our group. Prepare to be grabbed. Prepare to be groped. <laughs> yeah. So he just, he just kind of walks away, presumably headed to the boat. <laughs> He's our, like, initiation guy. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. All I right. Have Jerry, the grip. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah. The <laughs> That's terrible. Please never say that again. <laughs> <laughs> I know now. It what, hurts did, me. what did Nico call Jerry? Crotch Goblin. Crotch Goblin. 
Because he crawled up his pants twice. He's gonna him. have a list of like weirdo names, like Daenerys has of like fucking titles. Oh my god, yeah. Jerry the Groper. The Jerry the Groper. Jerry the Groper. The Crotch Goblin. <laughs> the Testy Defiler. <laughs> The, 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 the testicular tester. Oh, Jesus Christ. The gassy one. <laughs> Jerry the defiler. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. I like it. That, that's a, that sounds more badass than it should. <laughs> well, I, I still look at Azog the defiler. See, I don't think of Azog the Defiler, unfortunately. But well, I, I think of the the clown from Spawn. Let me show you why they call me the, the Violator. Defiler. Woo! The violator. Yeah. <laughs> we call people that at work. One of our managers are the Vandalizer. <laughs> we have someone on the day shift that we call the Violator. Jerry the Concerning. We have uh, one of the other people that likes to, uh, this is legit, one of the people that works on one of the other shifts, likes to talk about how she likes to smoke weed all the time, we call her the Vaporizer. <laughs> I like that. Nice. And all three of them are legitimate brothers on that, in that, uh, in the comic book, I believe it is, yeah. So, it's fun. um, honestly, now, we, I, we kind of ran over a little bit, uh, I'm distributing XP to Pokemon here, and then we're probably going to be done for the day. Can I have a request? Potentially. To has build up for next time, can we just roll for Pokemon that we're gonna think, like, catch, potentially fight for next time? But, like, stock on that, so that way it's like a build up. We're just like, oh shit. Well, you wanna know if you find them? Not them, just like, rolled, like, say we're looking for Pokemon. In the immediate area. Okay. Okay. You want to see how successful your search is? All right. That's plausible. Um, see what it is that we're fighting. <laughs> okay. Grab you straight. You did a fight. You did a pretty decent fight. For that. So let's give you a significant. Fireball check. almost lived, and that would have made me so happy if he did. <laughs> Fireball had a pretty good fight, given that he was at. At the disadvantage of that fight, he had a pretty solid combat. And then, um, must be level eight at this point. Firebolt? No. Is he half? Not quite. Not quite half. Because he, he mostly fights creatures that are weaker than him. Uh, where is Snover? Uh, Snover is, uh, Orkild is getting getting there to an evolution. Not evolution, sorry, sorry to a level. I mean, say. Say, don't excite me like that. Um, getting there to a, a while to yeah. before you getting there to a level. Um, eleven. And then who else just made that fight? Maybe deserve some credit. Dueling is like who the fuck is Meepy? Actually, um, oh, that's good. This is this. No, no, no. change. This. Wait, what? Yeah. Looking for a sauce book without horns because Magnolia is a girl. But... That's just. Yeah. Oh, gee, I'm blind as shit. What the fuck? Dope. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the colonization here. Me and Peep is going to get some XP, and then who else participated? Magnolia is going to get a little bit of XP for getting, you know... Surviving an explosion. Krabby, yeah, that was... Krabby that was brought, what's his name, down to 1 HP. Krabby already got a significant XP bump. Um, I don't know what that is. And then, I mean, the, the candle did do something, so oh, Steve gets... Candle did something. Wait, Steve was so close to an evolution. Uh, not evolution. I keep saying that. Steve was so close to a level that Steve actually does get a level from his minor amount of. Woo! Let's go! That's really dope, actually. Steve is level six. 
shit. You got new build, new uh, moves. You do get new moves. So would you deploy Steve for me? I would indeed deploy Steve. Give me your health and everything. Woo! Yeah, that's a lot of stuff comes to level six. Steve, oh, Steve gets two really good moves at level six too. Also, Jerry's quietly slipping away to another room. I mean, okay, that is fine. Um, Steve, can we put Steve out and get his uh, exp uh, XP fucked up? He, he is. That's out. gonna be my. Uh... Where is he? Oh, over there. Brown. Can you roll me a d6 plus Steve's con? Uh, I can, I can. Six. Hunter, are they all fucking amazing as is? Bait for a... As he walks in the other room. Ah! Oh, that is beyond badass. <laughs> Holy shit, what the fuck? Isn't that amazing? Uh, can you try one more time, Steve? I uh, yep. That looks better to me. All right, so Steve has 46 HP. I'm catching up. What level is Steve now? Steve is at level six. Ooh, wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, not quite. No, not quite. All right. Moving on, then. So Steve, Steve is now level six, just barely. Uh, all right, everyone else has all their XP, and I believe Kennedy wanted to see the success in our searching. Yeah. Yes, that would be cool. You can't you... fight it; you just see what it is. <laughs> okay. Do we want to do that? Uh, we can. We can do that. So, starting with Tazzle, then Tazzle, you have a hint from Nickel to go off. And you want to try and find a little flying bastard. Yeah. All right. Okay. Are you going to do so in this floor, or are you going to try to move up in the Iron Islands? I'll try to move up a little bit, see if I can get a little bit closer. They're probably more deeper, I'm going to guess. All right. You're going to have to do some exploring to figure out where they where to, to move up in the world around here then, huh? Yeah, yeah. So... Let's have you make a... Let's see, what's the best role to have you make here to see how successful you are in finding your way to the... stairwell? Um, I would probably guess maybe survival. Yeah, I was thinking of survival or nature because you're in a cave. Do one of those two things. Nature. That nature sucks asshole, but yeah. Let me see. Oh, well, actually, no, nature's all right. How is your nature plus nine? What? That's what I'm wondering too. I'm gonna look back at this. Like that doesn't wrong, but... doesn't seem plausible given that you heavily dumped into one stat. Um, yeah, unless you have a plus five three. base stat. No, I'm pl let me look at this again. I'm plus three proficiency is plus three, so that should be six. But It'd be a six, right? Unless you're you're not double proficient in nature, I don't think. I don't remember you can't. If I took... you, you know, you can't be you used your double proficiency to get perception. To get perception. Hmm. Well, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm not sure where you're getting that additional plus three from, but it doesn't yeah. matter too much. Uh, Tazo, we're gonna say <laughs> we're gonna say that you find your way up to a stairwell, away from everyone else, and you, sir, are headed up to a new map. And as you climb that stairwell, you hear a maniacal giggling inside of the chamber that you are headed for. It's either a ghost type or you found it. <laughs> Do with that what you will. That's your teaser for the next time. Uh, Jerry. Borrow your fucking. <laughs> Tazzle, I'm gonna need to borrow your fucking beast dump, dude. <laughs> 
My stump. <laughs> my Jerry's got stump guy. <laughs> oh shit! There's another nickname for Jerry. Jerry Stumpy. This oh my be. god! What the fuck is that? That's so bad. <laughs> Jerry the Are naked gnome. <laughs> Oh. The, naked the, the, the naked gnome. That's going on the list. Naked gnome. 